Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick review of the Surface Pro 2. I've been using it for one day and I can say that I've gotten between seven and eight hours of battery and I'm very happy with that. That's under pretty moderate use and about 60% screen brightness. Okay, before I get started, I want to show you just how fast this device boots up and shuts down. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down right now. Okay, so there we have it. It's shut down. So about a second to shut down, literally. Okay, now boot up time. Button down, release button. One, two, three, four, four seconds flat. Very good. All right, this is my first Windows device. So I had a lot to learn. Um, I'm not going to do a Windows 8 overview, um, but I, you know, I have all my categories organized. I've downloaded a few applications: uh, Facebook, Twitter, Miro, Netflix, eBay, um, and a few other ones. I also downloaded Office 365, so have Excel, uh, the full versions of all of those. I do want to um, take a look at the provided stylus pen because this is something I did not think I would use or like and I use it more than I use my finger literally so I'm going to do some pen input this is the installed OneNote application so when you get uh, your Pro 2 this will be pre-installed um, the handwriting is very very accurate so okay and the pressure sensitivity is very good um, can't really show that because it's standing at vertical on a slit wooden surface over here you can select different colors eraser undo and you can select different um, thicknesses of lines for each color okay I'm not gonna go into that but you can pretty much see it is very very accurate um, so uh, I thought that was pretty neat now one thing I found that was really cool um, first off the pre-installed version would not save what um, I write to a PDF it gives no option not even to print to a PDF you go to share um, my bad. Go to devices, print. It says one note. This app cannot print. I do a lot of schoolwork, and I would like to use this um, instead of handwriting and scanning it in because I'm a distance learning student. So I'm just going to show you what I've done. When you download Office 365. It comes with another full version of OneNote, which the Pro can run. So, let's see here. And what's really neat is with the multitasking feature, you can open up both versions of OneNote at the same time. Okay, so there we have. And over here, the one I just opened, test. So I have the same document open at the same time, and they both automatically save to SkyDrive. So if I if I do a change right here, in one second it'll show up in this version, and there you have it. And this is good because I actually prefer working in the um, pre-installed version, but I, I use this version to to save to a PDF. Because if you go to the full version, you can go to File, Export, and PDF, and it does it. I thought that was really neat. Um, let's see. Also, another neat feature is... <laughs> Let 
if you don't want to use the keyboard, you have the option to handwrite your website in. And the text recognition on this device is unbelievable. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Um, it's kind of hard to write in this position. Um, so it's going to be sloppy. But it'll still, it'll still recognize it. So th there you have it. Um, to uh, delete a space, you simply connect them together like that. And there you go. Now, some applications aren't pre, you know, aren't available in the App Store, as I'm sure you've heard, but that's not a problem because I believe all the applications work fine in browser. Uh, for instance, YouTube. There's no YouTube app in the Windows Store, but you can see I, I've got YouTube saved to my start screen. This is just a link to Internet Explorer, but I can open up and go straight to YouTube, and I, I actually prefer to use the full version anyways it, it works very well so you know there, there are ways around it and another thing I really like about this device is can't really see it but there's a mini a mini display port on the side and I've been using this to connect to my iMac 27 and I can use my iMac as a second display I'll actually make a make a video showing that whole setup process and I'll provide a link but overall I still got a lot to learn I'm very happy with the device it seems to be able to do just about anything um, and also another tip is that don't forget if you're gonna buy one of these you can get 10% off for being a student um, on the Microsoft website I saved a hundred bucks on this um, so it's definitely worth it and that's about it if you have any questions just post them in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to respond and uh, be sure to check out my other videos I'll be uploading more and thanks for watching